All right, so I've been using AI for a little bit to work on one of my my other projects, and AI is just dumb. <laughs> it's just actually fucking dumb. So I have here uh, just a recording of one of the things I was trying to do, and AI just completely shitting itself in the process. So I'm just going to go over what I was trying to do. Okay. Let's have this thing go all the way up here. So, as you can see here, I say, I have code for Godot 4. Can you add to the code? And it says that it can. So, um, I explain exactly what it is that I'm trying to do. Um, it doesn't let me finish uh, what I'm typing. It just gives me some generic BS or whatever for this. Um, so, I ignore that entirely. And he's like, here's the code I have. And then I just copy and paste it in here. Now, keep in mind, this code is not complicated at all. Not at all. So, I just have, um, if the global player camera is equal to null, meaning if this particular scene has no camera at all, then just return the function. That way, it doesn't crash. Then I have a whole bunch of comments here, of velocity, these things I were testing out, but uh, it, that stuff didn't matter. Um, and then this is all the code here. I don't know why it's not formatted properly like this, but whatever, it's still able to read it as is. I know this for a fact because I've done this before and it has given me stuff back. But then, ChatGPT decides that it's just gonna give me back the exact same code <laughs> that I wrote it and said, here you go, here's how you do it. <laughs> The thing that you're asking for, here's how you do it, buddy. Thanks, I appreciate that. Just regurgitating my code. At least it formatted it for me this time. I even make a comment on that. You didn't change any anything. <laughs> Please integrate your code with mine. So all I wanted to do was find the direction of a of a sprite 3D. Um, I was trying to make a, a like a Doom clone, um, but I want. Uh, the enemies to be able to patrol. Um, so depending on which direction they're facing, I need the sprite to change depending on what direction it's facing uh, as opposed to what direction the player is facing. So if the player is on the side of them and they're moving forward, then I should see either the left or right side of them. That's, I guess I should explain that's what I was doing, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I explained it to chat, uh, chat GPT and it, it, it shat itself. All right. Then here it says, my apologies. Let's integrate the code I provided with yours. <laughs> sure thing. And it just spits back out the exact same code <laughs> that I wrote. Oh, but it does make a, a slight little tiny change. The comments that I had uh, at the top of the script, it took all those little comments that I made and it moved it to the bottom of the script. <laughs> Good job, ChatGPT. You're doing fantastic. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I got fed up with it and I decided to try a different approach to it. Um, as you can see here, as I said, I changed my code to uh, match the player's position instead of the cameras. Um, this was when I was testing it out. It was doing some wonky stuff because um, it was following the camera. Um, changing the position of the sprite when the camera was moving, even though the player's position didn't, and it just gave me weird results. So that's why I did that. Um, so I just asked it again if it can uh, find the facing direction of the sprite. And if I remember correctly, it just gives me the exact same code. Wait, hold on. Hold on one second. Is this the code that I gave it? I can't remember. I changed my code. I would like it. I would like you to have it also take into account of its basic notion. How would I do it? Here's my code. The skin is not. Okay, so I just made some generic thing. It's 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 very similar to the code that it had did before. I know that much. Okay, so here's the code that I give it. Excuse me. So again, it's a bit messy. I, again, I don't know why it's not formatted properly, but I know that, again, ChatGPT can parse this code or this, this wording properly because I've done it before. And then all it does <laughs> is take my exact same code that I just gave it 
and it spits it back out at me. <laughs> oh my god, this thing's gonna take our jobs, right? It's gonna take our jobs. We're fucked. We're so fucked. We're so fucked. <laughs> oh my god. AI is dumb. It's so dumb. It's so fucking dumb. I, by the way, I did figure out how to do it. I just haven't implemented this. Um, this was a couple of days ago. I completely forgot about it. I just ran across the video. I was like, eh, I haven't posted anything on my YouTube channel for a while. Might as well post this bullshit. <laughs> and again, it just fits back out the exact same code. That's my code. This is my code. This is the code that I gave it. And it's just saying, hey, I'm sorry. Let me write the code for you. <laughs> Let me write the code for you. <laughs> that you're looking for this is literally my code like even it's even got the same degrees which this was off i think it was supposed to be 45 not 51 and it, it even copied my mistakes <laughs> oh my god where's that code where is that code that i wrote for it uh, it's in here I can't remember. It's it's somewhere in here. But yeah, it was just giving me the exact same code over and over and over again. Code that I wrote. Code that I myself wrote is giving to me. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. This the question you're asking for? Yeah, this code right here that I, me, chat, GBT wrote, that's how it's done. I'm waiting through it. It's my code. It's the code I wrote. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry, I'm just shit posting right now. I will have a video out soon, um, how to do a first person controller. Um, that should be out in the next couple of days. But this is just for, for shits and giggles. Alright, until next time, my children.